The year is 1819, and it is November. The Spanish Empire has just established a liberal government in Venezuela. Pablo Murillo, the Spanish ambassador, wishes to sign an armistice or a peace treaty with the Venezuelan leader, Simón Bolivar. Mr. Simón Bolivar, my name is General Pablo Murillo of Spain. The reason I am here is to present you with this offer of an armistice from my native country. Spain and Venezuela will have peace. Do you agree to sign this armistice? For how long will this armistice last? This armistice will, this armistice will last about six months. Okay, I'll agree to sign your peace treaty. Very well. well you have a deal. Indeed. And yet, after five months of peace, Simone grows weary of Spanish oppression. Ah! Jose! Our men have returned fresh from yet another battle, and we are ready to battle the Spanish for Venezuelan independence. Don't you think? Yes, sir, but the armistice says we can't fight for another month. Ah! Who cares? I want to do what's best for my land of Venezuela. I want to do what's best for South America. Come, get the troops ready. Right. However, a Spanish general, Miguel de la Torre, has plans of his own. Hello? Yes, I need as much men as possible. I'm just trying to stop Simon Bolivar and his men first. But Mr. Torre, that would violate your armistice. Isn't that correct? I don't care. I just want enough men to stop him first. I'm trying to bring this victory back home for Spain. Don't you understand? Sir, I'm afraid that is simply not possible. There is currently a Spanish revolution going on. This prevents you from any contact with more reinforcement troops to fight with. This war can possibly lead to uh, destruction of infrastructure, political chaos, and an economic bankruptcy for everybody that trades with the two countries. Don't you understand? That's too bad. The revolution takes precedence. Just tell them to hurry up, alright? Now, Bolivar and his forces prepare for an ambush on General Torre. Aha! I see them, Jose! We must fight for Venezuela! We must attack them while they're not looking! I don't know about this, sir. That would cause a violation of armistice peace treaty we signed with Spain. That would cause too much trouble for our side. I don't care, young one! Our British and Irish forces will crush them! We must fight for Venezuela! Aye, sir. If you're not with me, you're out! Do you understand? Yes, sir. Charge! Ah! What? Many of my men are dead! This is a violation of the peace agreement! This means war! General Torre escaped the ambush alive. And Bolivar and Paez see that a large battle is not far away, so preparations are made. Sir, most of our men are British and Irish volunteers, veterans of the Peninsular War. Do you think they'll be strong enough to fight in this war? I do not care! For better or for worse, we will fight for independence in Latin America and here in Venezuela! And I know we will win. But sir, where are we going to get the men? I've already planned to launch independence campaigns here in Venezuela, as well as in Ecuador. We will rally more people for our cause and to battle for independence for Latin America. Want to fight for the revolution? Information about the revolution! Viva la revolucion! Want to fight for the revolution? Hey, Viva la revolucion! Have a nice day! Wow! We've hit the jackpot! It's the Aneros! Their prowess in battle is unparalleled! And they're most eager to fight for the revolution! Hello, Mr. Simon Bolivar, I presume? I've heard great things of you. Yes, uh, what, what skills do you possess? We are known for our brilliant 
horseman skill and quick strikes with our sword during war. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Uh, are you interested in helping us with the, Ven with the Venezuelan revolution and, and with the revolutions in Latin America? Yes, of course. My men will be ready soon. Awesome. The Los Llaneros are brilliant light horsemen. Very efficient and quick in battle. I'm sure they will turn the tide of battle. Now, both the Spanish royalists and Venezuelan rebel armies are gathered at Lake Jaraba in preparations for battle. Ah, this terrain is hilly and very bad for fighting. Okay, we gotta attack them now. Half of you, go around back with the Llaneros. The other half, stay with me. Flank them around the rough terrain. Okay, the Patriots are probably going to go around back, so half of you, catch them off guard. Remember, to think of us as Goliath and as th they are David. If we lose this fight, we will be ridiculed and mocked all throughout Spain, if we lose to David. Viva la revolucion! Fight! Hey, come back, come on, retreat, retreat! Jeez, oh, hey, you'll never catch me, you're too weak! Viva la revolucion! And so, the rebels are victorious. Here's what happened in the ensuing aftermath. Step forward, Jose. It's been an honor serving with you. Congratulations! You have been promoted to General in Chief of the Republican Army of Caracas. Your next assignment is to take back the Spanish colony of Puerto Cabello and liberate it for Latin America and its peoples. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's been an honor serving with you and to continue serving. Ladies and gentlemen of Latin America, over the past few months, Jose Antonio Paez and I have been fighting against Spain for independence of Latin America. We recently have successfully defeated them at the Battle of Carabobo with the help of many foreign volunteer fighters. God bless them. I am proud to say that we have won the Battle of Carabobo and it has been a dream come true for me to say that we, the peoples of Gran Colombia, have liberated the oppressed Spanish provinces and forged a single country which we have named Gran Colombia. We will show the Spanish and their king that we, the citizens of Gran Colombia, can build our own solid infrastructure and that we can maintain a stable union between the states of Latin America by Gran Colombians for Gran Colombians and without the Spanish oppressive rule. It is my distinct honor to announce that we have achieved Venezuelan independence and more importantly, that we will achieve Latin American independence. Thank you. Viva la revolucion. The end. Viva la revolucion.